now we will learn some examples of hyper conjugation example will make uh, our knowledge more perfect <coughs> this is ethyl carbocation ethyl carbocation <coughs> can also show hyper conjugation now this is ethyl carbocation here this i have already told you that the carbocation free radicals unsaturated system this can also show hyper conjugation so this is carbocation this hydrogen this hydrogen three hydrogens one hydrogen to the shift to this position this become a plus charge this become plus charge this pi bonds will be formed and this will shift to this positions this become shift to this positions this become this positions this pi will shift to this positions this will shift to this positions but actually this is not happening in this way actually how this is happening and uh, i will draw the structures i'll make you h1 h3 ch2 plus charge how this is happening this h1 bond will shift to this position this become minus this become plus this plus minus will form a, a bond uh, this become a plus charge in this way this is become a plus charge this will form a bond now similarly this is happening the <coughs> this shift to this position and this will shift to this position this will shift to this position and this will shift to this position so here in this way similar way is this bond shift to this positions and this compound is formed now this will shift to this positions and this compound is forming similarly whatever happening in this way i have explained this similarly this s2 is also happening s3 also happening in this way three structures are forming hyper conjugating structure and one is the aliphatic structure so total four hyper conjugating structures isopropyl carbocation here isopropyl carbocation this is isopropyl car carbocation this is carbocation 1 2 3 4 5 6 total six hydrogens here so six structure will be formed uh, one will be aliphatic structure total seven hyper conjugating structure will be there this h1 shift to this positions and this become h plus h1 plus similarly h2 become h2 plus similarly become h3 plus similarly become h4 plus this h4 will shift H4 plus now H5 plus now we will believe from H6 plus is in a similar way whatever happening here the similar thing happening in the isopropyl carbocation now seven structure will form now free radical yes the free radical how the hyper conjugating happening the similar to the carbocation this H is there here is one two three H is there this H to shift to this positions here this become minus plus will form a bond at this become a plus this plus h plus is shown so similarly here is a one structure is shown but there is a three more structure will be there one two three three iron three structure will form a one one form will be aliphatic structure total four structure will be there similarly this is a free radical here is a free radical thus this structure how the free radical will form this is a hydrogen this is a carbon free radical ch3 ch3 this is a three hydrogens with this, this alpha position this is also three hydrogens this is also alpha this is also this is a three 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 six total nine structure will be form one plus and one structure will be aliphatic structure total ten ten hyper conjugating structure will be there but here is shown only one structure this to shift to this position one bonus one electron shift to this position this become free radical at this free radical this free radical free radical form a bond this structure is forming and this become a free radical this free radical is shown similarly this is a 3 3 3 total six structure will be formed total nine structure will be formed and one structure will be this aliphatic structures nitromethane can also uh, show hyper conjugations this nitromethane ano double bonds will participate in the hyper conjugations only we need not think about the carbon carbon double bond triple bond we also have to think about double bonds pi bonds we need to consider about the pi bonds we need to think about pi bonds so this hydrogens will shift to this positions this bond will shift to this positions and this will shift to this position this become minus this become plus how this is actually happening actual how this is happening this become this positions this minus and this shift to this positions this is a minus and this become plus this minus plus will form a bond so bond is forming this become minus this become plus this is a plus by shifting to this position this become minus this become plus minus plus will form a bond and this become minus this is this structure is so similarly three hydrogens is there so three structure is 
possible so 3 plus 1 total 4 of contributing contributing structure will be there here is the pi bonds here is two pi bonds but only one will participate in the formation of hyperconjugations this will shift to this person this become minus this become plus this pi bond shift to this person this become minus this become plus this minus plus will form a bond and this become a plus here is the this will shift to this minus this become a minus actually this is a minus but in compounds in acidic formats there is lots of h plus in the surrounding so this will form a bonds but actually in this structure if we leave these positions this is also okay but for the surrounding purpose this is shown nh because minus is in this position is not much stable so that's why it is shown like this so h plus in the uh, lots of in the environment because this is not happening in the similar way this is happening in the solution this reaction is happening in the solution that's why this h plus will interact with this n minus and we can form and nh is forming Similarly, this pi bonds will shift to this position. This become minus, this become plus, and this become minus, this become plus. This minus plus will form a bonds, and this become a double bonds. This H plus from the solution will interact with this, will interact with this minus, and CH will be form a bond. Here it will form a CH2. For fulfilling his valency, it will form CH2. As what is happening it has already ch it has already h one hydrogens here it is not shown all the hydrogens but actually this is already having one hydrogen so it become minus so one hydrogens come from outside and this minus will form a bond this minus c minus will form a bond and we will interact with this h plus and ch2 will be forming actually actual structure is not shown but this is in this way not toolin. Toolin. This methyl has a three H bonds. In this way, the C one one will be form a bonds, and one one three total nine a structure will be there. A plus one aliphatic structure. Total ten a structure will be there. This one will form three structures. This one three structure. This three structure. Nine a structure plus one total ten a structure will be there. How this is forming three structure? This hydrogen will form a one structures. And this second structure, this is a third structure. The third structure, this hydrogen will be from third structure. This hydrogen will be from third, third three structures. Total nine structure will be there. This H plus is forming. This become a minus, and this will become H plus. How are the happening? I've already explained this examples. So in this way, the three structure and three three nine total three structure will be formed and butene 2 butene the 2 butene has a th 3 hydrogens 3 hydrogens total 6 contributing a structure is there plus 1 aliphatic structure but this double bonds has only 2 2 hydrogens this having 6 hydrogens so 6 plus 1 7 are contributing a structure a total 3 structure plus 1 2 plus 1 3 structure so 6 hydrogens more hyperconjugations hyperconjugation increases stability increases so this compound has higher stability than these compounds now we will learn some examples of hyperconjugation effect. How the hyperconjugation effect, stability effect, boundary effect, dipolement effect, all those seven eight effect we will learn one by one.